All right, uh, economists, pollsters, oh boy. You never know how this could go, but this is what they're saying. Upwards of 40% of American workers are thinking about quitting their jobs. Uh, It's being called the Great Resignation. As in, like, the Great Migration. The Great Resignation. Uh, Not surprising here because we we have our finger on the pulse of what's going on in the American workplace here at KenColeman.com and the Ken Coleman Show. Uh, We've been telling you about this. But... Surveys are now actually showing that from 25 to 40 percent of workers are thinking about quitting their jobs. And uh, this is because people have had more time, more space. Everything shifted. Everything changed. It was forced upon them. And when change, which many of us don't like, is forced upon us, it doesn't just change the specifics in that area of our life. It makes us think about change holistically. It makes us think about change in every area of our life. It's just natural. And you talk about your work life. I mean, outside of sleep and family, this is the biggest chunk of your life. So when that got forced on you, that change was forced on you. So when that happened, you start thinking about other major areas of your life, smaller areas of your life. It, it's just, it just is what it is. Not surprising. Um... People are considering switching their careers entirely, not just their job, not just the company, total career switch. Again, not surprising. Um, Some are quitting because their bosses won't let them work from home anymore. Now, we've talked about this. I I don't know what to think about that. There's so much wrapped around that. I'm not going to get distracted by that. But this is happening. A lot of people going, hey, they won't let me work from home, so I'm not coming back. Now, here's where we sit. Okay, I think this is actually going to be really good. I think, I think it's going to go from the great resignation to the great redesignation. That's what I think. People are just going to redesignate themselves, put them in different places. That's the word I'm going to choose for today. Here's why. There are record 9.3 million jobs open in America right now. And you've got the unemployment insurance benefits that are slowly coming to an end. So in the not too distant future, uh, you're just going to see most states, you know, pulling back uh, on the federal, juicing the federal on top of what the state unemployment benefits are. And so that's going to drop that unemployment benefit back down, people are going to have to get back to work at some point. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. This year, 2021, leading into 2022, you're going to see a lot more people getting on a ladder and actually climbing up the ladder because you have 9.3 million jobs open. It's going to get really competitive again. Because you people are going to go, hey, we want this person. You're going to see young people coming out of college that are probably going to get a bump in salary than maybe what they would have gotten. You, at some point, employers are going to go, look, we need to get work done. So I'm telling you, this is a wonderful time to kind of take, uh, whoops, just knocked the paper off the desk, Joe. This is a wonderful time to take inventory and say, hey, am I where I want to be? Am I on the ladder that I want to be on? Am I on the right rung of this ladder? And look at the seven stages. Do I need to get clear? Do I need to get qualified? Do I need to get connected? Is it time to actually get started? What do I need to do to get promoted? Is it time to actually step into the dream job or step towards the dream job so that I can truly give myself away? I think the time is now. And we're going to be here every step of the way. Don't you forget that. Don't forget you got a a toll-free phone number. You can call me. You can have, uh, you can get on the line with your husband, get on the line with your family. We'll do group calls. If you guys are wrestling through some stuff, we're going to walk through it. We're going to bring you clarity. And listen to this. When you get clarity, confidence arrives automatically. A confused person is not confident. A clear person is confident. And we need to stay clear so we can stay confident so that when we already are on a journey of unknowns and when life throws its stuff at us, we can summon the courage we need because we're clear and we're confident. This show is sitting here waiting for you, your friends, your family.